Deep within the darkest forest lies a mushroom. The rarest of its kind, its roots reach down to the center of the dark core of our planet. When consumed, this mushroom transforms even the cutest of creatures into nasty, abominable monsters. Hey guys, Hattie the Creator here, creating something new to share with you. And as you just saw, we are going back into the Abomination Forest. This time, little Peppa Pig has wandered off, perhaps looking for a lost ball. And instead of finding a ball, he finds a mushroom and he eats it. I know I'm not the first one to do this, and I probably won't be the last, but I'm the best. Dang it, that's a little pretentious. I'm not the best, but I'm probably one of the good ones. So let's see what little Peppa turns into after nibbling on this abominable mushroom. So this time, instead of redrawing Peppa Pig, I just decided to grab one off of the internet. I thought this one would be funny because it's kind of excited and happy to see whatever it is, but it's not gonna be cute. I promise you that. It's not gonna be a cute thing. So there's the first sketch, and then for the second sketch, I wanna kinda go off of this meme where Peppa has four eyes. If you flip its head, it has eyes on both sides of its head. So I thought it'd be fun to draw one with all four eyes and kind of a three-quarter view. In the meme, he only has one mouth right in the middle, but it kinda makes sense that she would have a mouth on both sides. And what kind of abomination would it be if it didn't have big old flailing wet tongues. Of course, I gotta get those in there. Some sharp teeth, and I think this one looks pretty cool too. In another one of these videos I did, I sketched out a few of them. I think it was the Yoda one. Somebody commented and asked why I didn't just draw them all out and have a few different versions. Well, the first reason why I didn't is because of time, but for this one, I like both sketches all right, and I think they're both different. One kind of pushes the boundaries more, so I'm going to draw them both up, and I'm going to take the first one first because it's kind of more like the original silhouette of the first Peppa the Pig, not really pushing the boundaries as far. I'm going to keep to the same coloring style and use the same colors and colors for lines as well to kind of match the style of the first one and then the second one I'm gonna do more the style that I normally do with black lines and pen and ink style so here we are drawing out the first one and let's see how this goes hopefully nobody who loves Peppa the pig is watching they might not look at Peppa the same way again poor Peppa why'd you have to go and eat that mushroom for this Peppa I'm kind of going for more creepy than like terrifying so I'm making it have kind of human teeth and fingernails instead of sharp and pointed vampire-ish or monstery or like you know the typical monster type teeth and fingernails claws his fingers are kind of long and looking kind of like salad fingers I don't know if anybody knows who salad fingers is but he has these long fingers and no real hands so there's just fingers attached to his arm just like the original cartoon playing off of that I'm drawing up her toes as if she just burst through the ends of her shoes through the transformation of the partaking of the mushroom she grew so fiercely that her toes burst on through with those long toenails cutting through the leather would a pig wear leather shoes probably not they're probably made out of plastic I bet she's wearing Crocs saving the tail for last and here is the final Peppa the pig abomination version one <laughs> So I added a quick greenish glow and some odor lines because she is a pig, so she's going to be stanky. I think it turned out pretty cool. It was a fun drawing. So let's jump back in and do some line art for the second sketch. I think this is my favorite part of any drawing, just going in and doing the line art. Coloring is pretty fun too, but I just love doing the line art. And I'm just having fun with this. I'm going to have this one having a little bit of ooze dripping out of its nostrils as well. Just kind of playing around and seeing what works and experimenting as I go. Figuring things out along the way because I'm crazy like that. I don't need no map. So this character really does have two faces, one on each side, two mouths, two sets of eyes, and it shares a nostril. I guess the characters in Peppa the Pig are never facing forward. They're always in a profile view. And it's just an artistic direction they chose, but it kind of made for some fun memes, and it probably made Peppa more popular than she would have been otherwise. So sometimes doing things out of the ordinary gets you some extra attention. And sorry, Peppa, whether you like this attention or not, you got it. Spotlight's on you, especially right now, as you about to turn into a monster. Just coloring up the head as I finish the line art for the head and then I will do the body on a separate layer. Darkening up some of these veins and details in its head and lightening up some of the spittle and the wet spots like the tears coming out of its eyes. Whether it's tears or ooze, got some earwax coming out of its ears. Just making this thing as grotesque and disgusting as possible. Her belly's popping out of her dress which was cut in half and turned into a shirt I guess. It's a pig right? There's no nudity. It's just an animal. <laughs> 
And while I was drying up her hand here, I thought it would be funny if I had the ball she lost stuck on its fingernail. And so the regular Peppa the Pig is excited about seeing the ball and ignoring the fact that it's an abomination. And I know it doesn't really make sense because there's only one Peppa. And if she turned into an abomination, she wouldn't be able to interact with the regular version of herself. That's just weird. But for the sake of this illustration, I think it works out okay. Kind of a fun thing. And so now here is the reveal of the second abomination of Peppa the Pig. This one turned out pretty fun, not as scary as I was hoping. I think it's all right, but I think I could have done it a little bit better. Maybe I'll try it again in the future. Here they are side by side. Vote on which one you think is better. I'm curious to see how people like the two different versions. You can vote by clicking on the little explanation mark up in the top right hand corner of this video and then a poll will drop down and choose which one you like on that one, number one or number two. It would be awesome to hear your feedback. Hey guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me and for watching me draw up this Peppa the Pig as an abomination. It takes a lot more time to take something and make it into a monster than it does to make it cute, but I think I like it a little better just because I've drawn a lot of monsters in my life. Remember, you two are a creator. I would love to see your Peppa the Pig abominations. And just a reminder, if you would like to create with me and with the group We the Creators, there's a link down below to our Discord and you are welcome to do so. So remember to keep on creating and I will catch you on the next video.